So my name is Denise Wallingford. I've been going to New Wine for a little over five years. Um, I started when I retired from the Navy. You know, I was praying one day after I had retired and had been at home and I was looking through my phone just at churches and I, I was just praying, God, find me something where you want me to go. Um, and being in the military, when, every time you, I move, if I didn't have preaching responsibilities, then it would take me like six months to find a church. You know, you go to this one and that one and you're just really, none of that happened this time. I just prayed and I, God brought me just to, to Vineyard, which I had never done before. And I looked at the different campuses and saw that there was a female executive pastor. And I thought, well, at least they're not gonna have a problem with me having been a Navy chaplain. Um, and so that was that was the first thing. I read through the doctrinal statement and I thought, yeah, that's I can work with that. And um, went and uh, never went anywhere else, which is very uncharacteristic. Usually I'm, it takes me a long time to find a church, but uh, I feel very much at home. This is my family. At the beginning, when I started going, the messages were on the video screen. Um, and it was a pastor that we didn't really see much, like uh, in person. And I, w I was still getting a lot out of it. And I, I, I suppose at that time, it was the, the, the people in the church and the leadership team that was the glue that was connecting me. Um, and it still is. And after Matt took over, for me, it was just like, um, just a real sharpening, man, the, just the, the, I will say the sharp blade of the preaching really hooked me more. Um, and I think it became more intense in a very good way for me and I think for the whole congregation. I think there was kind of a perking up of, of everyone. Um, and the sense in which we were able to, as a congregation, very quickly, um, reach our financial goal. I, I think that that was a motivator for me. It's like, wow, people are committed. This is exciting. And um, and then when we moved uh, to uh, where we are now, uh, meeting at at the high school, um, it's been it's been good in the sense that it's the first thing that's been kind of ours. And I really, really have liked it. I, I have known, at least for myself and some others, we have just longed for some space of our own. And to see that come to fulfillment in that we have a building, it's like, hallelujah, we have space and a place to meet. Uh, and so that's very exciting. And so I'm really, really hopeful and excited about building the next um, stage, the next stage of building, you know, uh, building our sanctuary. I don't think it's going to be too difficult. Um, with as eager and as quickly as uh, people gave uh, to get what we needed um, at the beginning when we were over the theater, I think God is going to surprise us with how uh, how just quickly He takes care of it. Um, because we are longing, I think, as a people for our own home, kind of like the children of Israel wandering around in the desert and they finally woke up to God. And, but all along they were longing for their own home.